Okay, uh, Dr. Finn and the uh, rest of the seminar class. So I've decided for my independent project that I will be seeing how many times I have to hit this uh, aluminum 29 inch Easton Typhoon baseball bat against this here rock um, for it to break. If you can notice, it seems as if I've done a substantial amount of damage. Though, to my surprise, it really hasn't sheared off that much material. It's mostly just kind of bent it. Which I guess I probably should have expected considering aluminum is usually a, aluminum in, in almost all cases is a lot stronger of a material than whatever stone that is, but interesting. Uh, so as I've kind of noticed, it seems as if um, seems as if the bat has not been taking very much damage. Uh, and if I was really trying to go true to science, I would keep the same variables. But this is not going to be that all that scientific. So I decided to bring a hammer. Uh, I figured that this will probably speed up the process of damaging either or. Um, I figured this would probably going to be a bit more interesting. Um, hopefully, it speeds up the process. In the following clip, I decided to abandon brute force as I found that it was not a very efficient mean of destruction. What I instead am supplementing it with is mechanical advantage via a clamp. Hitting the bat with the hammer repeatedly was effective, yet it was not nearly as efficient as simply bashing it against a large object mechanical advantage. While in theory it should work perfectly well, it was really inefficient and I had very little torque given the tools I had. The clamp that I used may have benefited from attaching a power tool or breaker bar to the end of the clamp. If you're curious on the end damage of the bat, here it is. It seemed to have been severely dented on approximately three sides and most of the paint has chipped off you can almost see the bare metal in some spots. In conclusion, the most effective and arguably most fun way of destroying a baseball bat, if you somehow need to do that, is bashing it against a giant rock. In conclusion, the rock wins.